First up, Yasmina Ramsey with the kind of pitch that'll really shake up the den. She's brought her Middle Eastern dance troupe called Arabesque, a sexy extravaganza she hopes will sway the dragons to invest. My name's Yasmina Ramsey, and this group is called Arabesque. And we've come to you to ask for $800,000, and we're going to give you a little sample of what our business is about. What do we get for the $800,000? 49%. 49%, OK. Yasmina's belly dance show tours in small venues across Canada and the U.S. She also runs a successful dance school in Toronto. Yasmina will use the $800,000 to turn this show into a massive touring event like Cirque du Soleil or Riverdance, which she thinks could make millions. I think it's good to be a dragon today. Yeah. We are a dance company and orchestra. There's actually a lot more musicians and more dancers. We have male dancers as well. And we do a more artistic theatrical, but in this environment, we chose our kind of commercial type show right now. And um, so 800 grand for what? So I want to know why it's okay. worth $1.6 million. Actually, I've got stage one and stage two, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Stage two is a lot more money. But stage one still makes you money uh, with 800 thousand you're going to make one million three hundred which means you have a profit of five hundred thousand and how fast will it, will it take me to get that a mm, couple of weeks no 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 not, i mean it'll Gee, be a we sell cocaine <laughs> too. <Wow. laughs> that's <laughs> great a bit, a bit of preparation for a couple of weeks and then it's just a tour but it's a very strategic tour to certain cities certain kind of audiences excuse me does it make money today yes what are you going to use the money for? A little bit is for uh, upgrade costumes, rehearsal, stuff like that. And the majority of the 800,000, at least 350 to 400, is advertising and PR. When you talk about making a million three on 800K investment, mm -hmm. have you ever done that before? You've proven that model? Uh, we've done it on word of mouth with maybe a few flyers handing out to a few people. And we get, on average, an audience of 2,000 people. And how much money have you made to date during this business? We break even. Yasmina's making some big promises, a half million dollar profit for a belly dancing show that so far only breaks even, a claim that has Robert feeling skeptical. What do you charge for admission? For a show? Currently, what we're charging in Toronto is $35, but we want to get to that $80, $90 ticket. So for you to break even, you said give me $800,000, i will give you back $1.3 million. Mm. Over what period of time? One year? No, no, Two years? just in, in a couple of weeks, like... Um, Six, six weeks. That the tour only lasts six weeks. So yeah. you think we you do can... one one city per weekend. So if I give you the eight hundred thousand, you're mm -hmm. saying I would make a profit of you would make a profit of five hundred in six weeks. Mm -hmm. Yasmina's facing a tough audience, but Brett Wilson knows a thing or two about turning a profit on the road. I, I back tours. I understand this business. <laughs> So I put up $800,000, mm -hmm. and that's all gone to expenses. God. Mm -hmm. OK. I still don't have my money back. So the structure that you've offered right now, and that's what I'm just trying to challenge you a little bit, yeah. $800,000 gets us a $1.3 million tour, and you get half the profits. So there's $500,000 profit, 250 is yours, and I get my money back and 250000 you get your money back plus 250000 yes. Yeah. Did she right. ask for mm -hmm. half the profits? But, well, she wants 49% of the business is being given out, so that's 49% of the tour. Oh, I thought I'm this ignoring was all the other... I'm trying I to figure see. out whether or not the other business I is see. in or not. I, so you want half the profits even though I take half all the risk. Yeah. When I'm starting to think about how to cut costs, no offense to the guys, why don't we whack the musicians, just play a tape? No, they're part of the, the deal. 
Yeah, but Yasmina, you go into Chicago, New York, you're mm -hmm. talking about those cities, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Where would you go with your venue of a thousand people? I don't know all the theaters in New York yet, but I have some girls that are doing some research. They, I don't remember the names off the top of my head. Yasmina's made a bold entrance, but stumbling on the numbers has the dragons concerned. I actually think it's it's interesting because anybody else come out, the fact that you brought out the dancers has clearly got everybody interested, but your business sense is just, I'm sorry, it's way out there. Like you haven't been able to answer a good business question yet. We're not, and I'm surprised you're not getting hammered a little more. Well, I'm trying to, Arlene, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it, but every time I ask her but a question, she goes all over the that's map. That's my point. In all honesty, really, I, I'm, I'm so not a business person. I'm an artist. I mean, that, like that's your thing, right? So I don't know, I don't know how it all works. But, <laughs> but don't you think you should know that before you come out here and ask for money? You haven't shown us anything that would risk my $800,000. Thank you for the dancing. You're welcome. I think we've been incredibly nice to you because of we like the dancing, mm -hmm. but as a business, my gosh, you're so far away from that kind of an investment. I'm out. Okay. I think risking 800,000 is a lot without knowing that the business model works. And you're telling me to get involved, I have to give you $800,000 and say, hopefully it works. Otherwise, everybody works for me as a slave afterwards, right? How do I get my money back? I'm out. The real challenge here is just the economics of the model that you've presented and a little bit of confusion. Your experience is using $5,000 as a marketing budget. You now want me to trust you with $350,000 as a marketing budget. You just haven't shown that you've got enough experience for us, or for me, to take that money and spend it effectively. The idea of a tour, I'm sure you can pull it off. I believe you can. Yeah. But I'm out. I enjoy the belly dancing and I, I would like to invest. Uh, but I can't because it's a poor investment for me to get my money back. So for that reason, I'm out. Yasmina's pitch has gone belly up with four dragons, but Arlene has yet to bow out. The good news is, is the world needs highly creative people and highly business-driven people. And when they get together, magic can happen. Go find yourself a, a partner who'll come in and work the business with you, who knows m money and numbers really, really well. But I am not uh, going to invest in the business at $800,000. So I'm out. I'll pay eight hundred grand to some new belly dancer. <laughs> Actually, I thought they would be much uh, rougher on me, especially the Kevin guy, I think. Yeah. I expected him to rip me apart, so, so it was actually kind of fun. 